here is uh, the vegetable garden uh, from the Chaswas in um, 2011 it has truly exploded kind of the bounty if you look at the size of the vegetables they're just growing 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 here is something that is like a six foot long cucumber the basil is exploding cukes everywhere before you know it they are like big and fat and juicy Zucchinis coming out of the out from the stems. The poor colored greens have been overwhelmed by the zucchini. And uh, the 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 uh, the garlic provides a nice protective barrier from bacteria and germs and this poor artichoke is also overwhelmed by the cukes it'll get its chance soon lots of herbs and spices below these cukes there is some oh my god look at this cuke grew out of nowhere in three days strawberries overwhelmed Here is some watermelon growing everywhere. I hope these the branches can hold on as these watermelons grow. Watermelon hanging from the roof there. I am just not sure if we are going to we're doing the right thing. Here is a beautiful cucumber flower, the monster cucumber flower. There is some bitter gourd here. You can see the first little flowers come out for the bitter gourd. Going in, we have more squash and zucchini and we have the first little guy coming out here. I don't know what it's going to grow into. There's a ton of them lining up to grow. And the corn is now almost 10 feet tall. All kinds of tomatoes beginning to show up everywhere. The tomato plant this year is grown up to be, you know, a good six, seven foot tall plant. And, you know, getting a, getting a small cherry tomato plant and planting it after all of these guys have taken off, not a very good idea for the poor cherry plant. It got overwhelmed. And here is something that is going to be either a pumpkin or a major squash. But this one has also taken off. I don't know what this plant is, but it's in the corner and has been attacked by fungus. And don't know what it's going to do. one has got beautiful flowers these are the male flowers and some or the other they managed to pollinate the female flower and you get a nice good squash and 
here is the tomatillos. And then the Tulsi, doing really well. The, the chives, doing well. Here is the sweet potatoes. They've taken off. All it took was a little piece of a sweet potato plant and planting it and off it goes. He had a lot of cilantro. And moving to the last one. Last raised bed. Here is the eggplants. They are growing happily. Here are the Japanese eggplants with their beautiful purple flowers and then the New York eggplants which are going to be big and fat and round. And there's going to be a ton of them. The peppers are just growing taller and taller. Some of them are hot, some of them are good and sweet. And there's a couple of okra plants. Let's see if we can get a view of them from this side. Yeah, you can see the first baby okras coming along. That's where a baby okra starts off from. Right in the corner, between the stem and the two branches. And here is a nice colorful rich black beauty I know the eggplants are Kalpana's favorite vegetable and she loves to make bengan bharta the Indian dish and I have put some onions and other things but you know till this crop is over there isn't much hope for them The leaders have to will own it all in the beginning. Some fennel that has just taken off. Good for having a clean breath. Here's some different kinds of uh, mint and different herbs which are all overwhelmed by these vegetables but once the growing season is over I'm sure there'll be room for them for, to take over strawberries real natural ones let's taste one of them mm. Mm. nice and sour Oh, these might be better. Hmm. Couldn't be better. Some Japanese pukes. Grapes have never worked out for me, but I have no idea why they always get fungus. They're the wonderful, you know, ruby red variety, but no hope for them. Here's a nice, wonderful zucchini in the sunshine. growing really healthily and here is an amazing plant this is a Chinese jujube plant very nice beautiful clean plant and the small little flowers let's see if we can find some yeah there they are 